All astronomers believe that planets form in the belts of dust and gas that surround young newborn stars, known as protoplanetary disks. Although hundreds of such disks have been detected around the cosmos, making observations of real planetary birth and development inside such conditions has proven challenging. Now, scientists at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics have found a novel method to identify these enigmatic newborn planets, providing smoking gun proof of a tiny Neptune or Saturn-like planet hiding in a disk. Young planets are usually too dim for humans to observe because they are embedded in thick layers of gas and dust, making direct detection an extremely difficult task that's only been achieved in a few situations so far. Instead, researchers need to look for hints that might indicate a planet is forming under the dust. The team has observed several structures appear on disks in recent years that we assume are produced by a planet's existence, but they might be created by something else, and they have indicated that they need new ways to look at and support that a planet is there. A protoplanetary disk called LKCA15 was re-examined by the research team. The disk lies 518 light-years distant in the constellation Taurus. In the past, researchers have stated that ALMA observatory observations provide evidence of planet formation in the disk. Using the latest high-resolution ALMA data on LKCA15, largely collected in 2019, scientists were able to spot two previously undetected faint features. The group found a dusty ring with two distinct and brilliant clumps of material circling inside it. Around 42 astronomical units, or 42 times the distance Earth is from the Sun, from the star. The substance formed a tiny cluster and a bigger arc, which were 120 degrees apart. Their size and placement were found to be consistent with the hypothesis for the existence of a planet. Therefore, scientists turned to computer simulations to determine the source of the material accumulation. When two bodies in motion, such as a star and an orbiting planet, create heightened zones of attraction surrounding them, these places in space are called Lagrange points. They claim that the material is not randomly dispersed, but is stable and has preference for its location depending on the laws of physics and the nature of things involved. The L4 and L5 Lagrange points are the specific locations of the arc and material cluster identified by the team. Points L4 and L5 have amassed dust because of a tiny planet hiding 60 degrees between them. These findings indicate that the planet is between 1 and 3 million years old and has a diameter similar to that of Neptune or Saturn. When compared to other planets, that's not too old. The team believes that a lot more ALMA observations of LKCA15 may give additional evidence confirming the planetary finding, or even direct imaging of the tiny newborn planet may not be achievable anytime soon due to technological limits. Material preferentially collected at Lagrange points is the new method the team believes will be used by astronomers to find planets in the future. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.